Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. I hope you have had an enjoyable Easter holiday. Just like last week, today is very much about women. We've got two female authors joining us and their books are entirely focused on women issues. First is Adana Madu, a lawyer and human rights activist. Madu is the author of this book titled Women Empowerment, which is about plights of the African woman. Madhu joins us to review her book and discuss its central theme. I'll introduce the other lady in the house when we return. But well, enjoy our chat with Madhu for now. Adana Madhu, thank you for joining us on Channels Book Club. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Um, Women Empowerment, that's the title of your book. Yes. Um, before I dive into the book, you've been involved for many years in women affairs yeah. in Nigeria. That seems to be your passion, yes. to have women empowered. Mm -hmm. And you've written a book along that line. Tell, tell me a bit about that. Yeah, um, women empowerment uh, in relation to national development and uh, human rights. It was actually conceptualized due to the um, desecration towards the plights of women, especially in the rural communities. And also when I looked at um, uh, notwithstanding the rights conventions, our governments, African governments, Nigerian governments, they have either deliberately or inadvertently refused to domesticate some of these international conventions. And even when some of them are domesticated, they are not being implemented. Mm. So I, the idea to chronicle these obnoxious customs and inhibitive um, traditions militating against the welfare of women was conceived during my postgraduate studies in Netherlands, in Utrecht University. I made several researches about women nationally and internationally. Because when I was there, it gave me an ample opportunity to travel to so many other countries. I don't want to start naming the countries. And um, I had to compare what is obtainable there and the, uh, towards women, the civil rights of women, and what is obtainable here in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. So when you look at it, you now discover that women's rights are really being violated. Mm. Look at um, widowhood practices, probably we're going to discuss yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, then um, rape, uh, early or forced marriage, especially in the north, female circumcision, domestic violence. I mean, when you look at all this, and they are all enshrined in our constitution, the federal government uh, 1999 constitution is all enshrined there. Mm. But these rights are being violated oh, okay. from time to time. Um, so it's something I found that is very, you, I found your book very deeply worrying. Um, I, have to, I have to say that it's not a book that I enjoyed reading. And it's not a book that you are, one, one is meant to enjoy. It's a book that is meant to get one thinking. And that's what your book did to me. And got, disturbing. Yeah, it got me disturbed, disturbed got me yeah. worried, you know. And... Some of the things I read here, I've, I've heard about them. People mm. talk about them. But it just struck me that, hey, these things are, they are real. Very real. Yeah, it's not fiction. Very real. They're not stories. Mm -hmm. these, these are real things that are happening in our society yeah. every day. But, I mean, let, let's, let's look at a few. Okay. Um, in page 21 here, which I underlined, you wrote... Here, that government officials mm -hmm. and other authorities in Nigeria have raped mm -hmm. and sexually exploited women and girls displaced by the conflict with Boko Haram. Sure. The IDPs, right? Mm -hmm. Now, then, down the line, the same place, you, same page, in late July 2016, Human Rights Watch documented sexual abuse, including rape, an exploitation of 43 women, women and girls mm -hmm. living in seven internally displaced persons camps in Meduguri, the
the Bono State Capital. Yeah. <sighs> the this is for real. Yeah, sure. The records are there. It's not hidden. If you even want to make your research, you find out that a lot of things happen. And even the government officials, they know it. They know that these things happen, but somehow you don't get to know about it, except if you start you know, delving into making researches towards them. You know, we have, there's, there's so much um, problem, or people have so, many, so much difficulties in the country that they don't really have time to start searching or trying to find out what's going on with you or with me. If I have a problem of not even eating three square meal a day, why should I have time to start making researches of what happened to Mr. A or Miss B? You know, so these things happen, and in most of the um, government um, institutions, like in the prisons, IDP comes. I mean, even in cell, police cell, a lot of things happen, and they know it. Mm. So it's only when you start making researches then you discover some of these things. Let me read somewhere else okay. uh, that I, I found very touching. You said um, in page 34, okay. you, you wrote, perhaps widowhood practices in Nigeria, especially in the rural communities of the southeast, Ibo land, constitute the most inhuman treatment meted out on women. Yes. So, wid so widowhood practices, that's where... The problem is yes. primarily. Yes. Hmm. There's a lot of uh, human rights of women, especially the widows. The human rights are usually being violated when their husbands are not there. 